I checked out a lot of smartphones and their video capabilities with the main camera sensor because this is the one that you mainly use. But sometimes what people like to do is zooming in or even zooming out. And what we want to do now is check out how well, how smooth they can perform this zoom in and zoom out animations. How fluid the lens switching is. There are basically two criteria here. One is fluidity and the switch, so we have a lens there, we have a lens there and we have a lens there. Is it like jumping between the lenses or has it a smooth animation and then you will notice that it's switching the lens. How well do you notice that it's switching the lens? And the second criteria is how well is the color balance between all the lenses because nothing is more distracting than when you zoom in and you get completely different colors to what you had before. So let's check that out. I not only have here the Vivo X100 Pro, the Xiaomi 14 and the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, but I will add some other smartphones to this uh, little test as well. So let's get started. So let me explain the setup. We have Timmy sitting here and what I will do is we start off with the ultra wide angle on each camera system and I will slowly zoom in. The different camera systems have different ways to zoom in. Some use buttons so they automatically zoom in. Some have sliders to zoom in. So we start off with the Xiaomi 14 from ultra wide angle. We zoom in slightly with the slider here. You can see to one time it is switching the colors and to 3.2 times it's switching the colors as well tremendously so not so good. Then we have the Vivo X100 Pro, it switched slightly, but it's very consistent here. But now the last one, the 4.3 times switches the lens and colors dramatically. The Oppo switches also to one times a bit the color shifting, but uh, the last one is I think the six times slightly. The most jumpy is the Pixel 8 Pro, Timmy went away as you can see, and also color shift is pretty yeah, huge here, I would say, especially here at the zoom lens. Magic 5 Pro is quite smooth, but also has a color shift, as you can see here, on all the lenses, which is a bit of yeah, a distraction, I would say. Mate 60 Pro has a huge color shift from ultra wide angle to main camera sensor, but the zoom looks quite okay. Now we come to the color consistency champ, the Xperia 1 Mark V, as you can see here, yeah, lens switching is minimal there, color switching is non-existent there at all. Very, very good result on the Xperia 1 Mark V. As an example, a few years ago it looked like this, camera switching on the LG Wing for example. So the conclusion is that all of them have some issues one way or another. The best that I found in terms of no much color shifting is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V that I'm uh, recording right now that behaved more like yeah, a really optical kind of zoom. The only issue the 1 Mark V has, the buttons if you press them to automatically zoom in, it's not so smooth. It doesn't look as smooth on the display and also on the video it has like some stutters. So I think the smoothest are the Vivo X100 Pro in this regard, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra and yeah the, Vivo, the, the, the Xiaomi as well, Xiaomi 14 there and uh, Huawei also quite smooth. The Honor Magic a little bit less smooth than the Huawei in this regard. Uh, so yeah, I wish like someone would nail the colors of the Xperia and the smoothness of Vivo or Oppo because this would be perfect. Maybe Sony Xperia 1 Mark 6 could do this. We have to see. But what do you think? Which one you like the most? Write it down in the comment section. That's everything for the short, very short little video. Until the next time. Bye.